Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Am I sufficiently audible to each and everyone? You can write in the chat box. So we'll start in next two minutes. Okay, so all all you have, have must have got the web based link from uh, our support team. If you are not able to identify that web based link, you should go and you should write a Mulyankan AI in a Google. And from a Google, it will take you towards our this particular web based portal. And from that web based portal, through your credential that is in the form of login ID and password. You just click on a login GPT. That login GPT interface will look something like this. And from this interface, you can write any question pertaining to anything which is related to the core allocation, satellite allocation, style allocation, or let's say even with respect to the fund filtration. So we are covering the entire wealth management landscape from a top-down perspective. So agenda for today's session is to cover the Marina. So Marina is a machine assistant navigation algorithm, which helps you in a style and a factor selection, or let's say style and a factor identification, as well as it will help you in a rotation as well. So in a very simple, easy to understand baby language, it will help you to identify how much money to allocate in what, in what style at what factor. And then what time at what zone you have to exit from, which style and which other factors which are unfavorable in any particular cycle or let's say in any, in any particular zone. So the entire zone and the cycle assessment has been done through a navigation algorithm which is known as Marina. And this Marina indirectly helps you in a style identification and at the last rotation also. So this is a total utility of a Marina. So our today agenda is to just cover the Marina within 40, 45 minutes, and then we will take a Q and A. So when you come to our particular, this Mulyankan GPT interface, from a Mulyankan GPT interface, if you want a detailed working and an underlying rationale, or let's say you want to have a detailed overview of Excel dashboard. So you have to go into the file section, just click on the file section, that file section will take you towards our entire Excel based dashboard. And from that Excel based dashboard, you have to download the Marina from here. That is in the form of style, factor selection and a rotation. You have to just click on a download button in order to have a access to the Marina file. So once you have downloaded that particular file, just open it in the offline mode. So this is an overall glimpse of a Marina dashboard, of a main menu of a Marina. So file can open from anywhere. 
it can open from here or let's say it can open from here. You have to just click on a home button. It will take you towards our main menu. So to start with, so basically if we go for a style or let's say in other words, it is also known as factor. So to keep it simplified, we will call it a style. So broadly, four styles are being covered in the form of various white papers, in the form of various research papers. So we are covering the same style. So this style are basically value, momentum, low on, and quality. I am again repeating, broadly there are four styles, that is value, momentum, low on, and quality. And there are basically two subset of the style. What are the two subset? Out of momentum, alpha is being made. So alpha is actually a subset of a momentum. And dividend yield is a subset of a low wall. So broadly, if you'll see, it is a value momentum, low wall and quality. Within momentum, it can be alpha. And within low wall, it can be a dividend yield. Now, to be very frank, we can, you know, we can keep this interaction live so that I should be able to understand that, uh, uh, means uh, I should able to gather some of the information from your side also. So in, in India, what is the most famous style, let's say, which is according to the manufacturer, which is like a hot favorite for the investor also, or let's say, which is like a hot favorite for our advisor community also. So which is one of the most favorable style in India is, which is the most favorable style in India? You can unmute yourself or you can write in the chat box as well. What are the most marketable or let's say, which is the most marketable style in India? Which is the most marketable? No, it is not even value. It is not even growth. Uh -huh. If I specifically talk about the style, it is a momentum actually. So it, in India, it is a momentum, which is the most favorable style, which is the most favorite style of the AMC in terms of launching a style based indices. I'm not talking about the stock picking uh, thesis or I'm not talking about the stock picking process or a checklist. Of course, with, the, with respect to the stock picking or with respect to the security selection, it is either quality, it is either value and or, or let's say it could be a growth at a reasonable price, which is being used by many AMC also. But overall, if you look at the launching side, if you look at the marketing side with respect to the investor, the most favorable style in India is momentum. And could you, can you please tell me which is the most favorable, type, favorable style which is used globally? In India, it is actually momentum. You know, we are, we are lover of the chasers. We love chasing things. But which is the most favorable style globally? Do you know this thing? So value is there, of course, value is there. But you will be surprised to know that low all is the most favorable style in US market or let's say in a developed, developed economy like a, uh, uh, let's say of a European market. The low all is the most favorable. So in India, it is just opposite. In developed economies, it is low all. In India, it is momentum. Now, to start with, so these are the basic broader style we will talk about. Alpha is again a part of momentum and dividend yield is a part of a low wall. So I'm not going to that, but I will talk broadly about this four style. So basically, if I want to bifurcate within a market cycle, so in a bull market cycle, so in a bull, again, I'm repeating in a bull market cycle, all the four style will work. All the four style will work. Means all the four style will deliver you the return. But out of that, relatively, value and momentum will outperform low wall and quality. I'm again repeating, all the four style will deliver you the return in bull market, but value and momentum will outperform the low wall and the quality. Relatively. Now out of again value and momentum, VNM, out of again VNM, out of value and momentum, Again, value will outperform momentum in the recovery phase of the market. Value will outperform momentum in the recovery phase of the market. So whatever I'm saying, it is not like a thumb rule, but 75% 75 of the time, three-fourths of the time, the observation has been like this only. Three-fourths of the time, whatever I'm saying, it actually works three-fourths of the time. So value will outperform momentum in a recovery phase of the market. 
and momentum will outperform value in the next leg of a bull market cycle. In a next leg of a bull market cycle, momentum will outperform the value. When you will feel the turbulence in the market, whenever there is a market turbulence or whenever there is a, you know, at the consolidation phase in the market, the low wall will outperform the entire three. The low wall will outperform the entire three. And when start, markets start falling, when, uh, when, we are in, when we are out of a consolidation phase and when start, markets start falling, then, uh, then low wall and quality will outperform momentum and value. But again, out of low wall and quality, quality will outperform low wall. So momentum and value will outperform in a bull market cycle. In a bear market cycle, low wall and quality will outperform the value and momentum. Again, in within value and momentum, in a recovery phase of market, value or will value will outperform momentum. When market turbulence will, when in a second leg of a bull phase, momentum will outperform value. But during a consolidation phase or during a market turbulence phase, the low wall will outperform the quality. And when market start falling and when there is a bear market cycle, the quality will outperform the entire three. So this is how in terms of market cycle and when I divide that market cycle within bull and bear, this is how overall picture looks like. When I further divide the bull and bear into the two market phases, this overall broader picture looks like. So V, M, L and Q. Again, the thing is start getting repeated. So just to give you a life example, if you look after 2020 recovery market, Value has started performing the entire three factor. So basically, now we'll have a broader assessment that ICCI and HDFC is going to outperform the quality based AMC. So what are the quality based AMC? Let's say Axis, PGM. So when I'm saying PGM, so it is like a Minepadia. So when I'm saying DSP, it is more about a Vinit Sambre. When I'm saying UTI, so it is all about UTI. So let's say UTI, PGM. Axis DSP was the hot favorite in 2019. No one want to touch HDFC and ICCI. But 2020, what suddenly happened? The market has recovered. Values are outperforming. So these are the broader cycle on the basis of which the classification is being done. So I'm just telling you the telling you the practical aspect when when particular style of factor outperform relatively with the other style. But all these things are being done by the algorithm itself. So it is not our outlook. What is a bear market cycle or low, let's say, what is a bull market cycle? But it is very easy to identify from, let's say, from the very minimalistic score, which I used to share you on a daily basis, from a minimalistic score itself, you will able to identify, Ashish, when is a bull market cycle and when is a bear market cycle? Of course, no one, everyone knows the bear market and bull market in a hindsight. But no one knows in advance, right? So you can you will able to judge the bull market and a beer market on the basis of where are we standing in the cycle itself. So for doing the assessment of where are we standing in the cycle, you even if you use those three uh, score which I used to share on a daily basis, you will have a broader perspective with respect to the cycle. So of course, in the hindsight, it looks like it is very easy to tell you that 2020 was a period for a value. But from the score itself, you can able to identify. So let's say within a score, so I'm only talking about the bull market, beer market. Then I will talk about the earning cycle and interest rate cycle also. Because earning cycle and interest rate cycle also play a pivotal role in order to identify the style and in order to identify the rotation of the style. So I will go into this next phase of earning cycle, interest rate cycle after you understand this bull market cycle and beer market cycle. So generally, the bull market cycle starts from a zero score. So in 2020 March, it was very clear cut the score were zero. Whatever going is going, whatever has happened in the market has happened. Now it will be a recovery phase in the market because the score was near to zero. So when the score is near to zero, that means margin of safety is extremely favorable to the equity market or in other word or let's say in a very easy language, risk reward is favorable to the equity market when score is near to zero. So when near, score was near to zero in 2020 March, and we were expecting a recovery in equity market. So it was like a by default that value is going to outperform the momentum, low quality and quality. Of course, momentum and value both will run, but again, value will run more than a momentum. 
and during the next leg of market when the when score was running from a zero and it has let's say it has gone to one one point two five so that was the time that now momentum is going to outperform the value of course both will out both will outperform lower end quality but momentum will outperform the value now the thing is like. This is basically from a bull and bear market cycle. Now, if I incorporate the interest rate cycle and the earning cycle, now the next question comes. During a falling interest rate scenario and during a subdued growth rate in the economy, I am again repeating, during a falling interest rate in the scenario and during a subdued growth rate in the economy, subdued in growth rate ka matlab ye hai, that the average growth rate in the economy is lower than the growth rate which was being you know being uh, which was being uh, experienced in let's say five year or a ten year so if a growth rate is subdued with respect to the average in the economy and if there is a falling interest rate in the economy the quality will outperform the entire three the quality will outperform the entire three so you have seen the market of a 16 17 18 19 there is a falling interest rate scenario and second thing, there was a falling growth rate in the economy. There was a falling GDP growth rate. If you remember, the GDP growth has, has fallen to up to 5, 5.5%. Earlier, we used to experience the GDP growth rate at a, let's say they were hovering around 6 to 7%. From hovering around 6 to 7%, they were at a falling around 5.2, 5.5. So during a falling growth rate scenario and during a falling interest rate scenario, it is a no-brainer that quality is going to outperform. And during a rising interest rate scenario, and during a rising growth rate, or let's say during a rising earning cycle, value is going to outperform entire three. So that's, a, so that's why you are seeing value from a last four year, value is outperforming like anything. So during a rising interest rate scenario, during a rising EPS, as simple as that. Or let's say during a rising GDP growth rate. So basically, in order to ascertain all these three things, our algorithm has taken into, uh, you know, our algorithm has incorporated three basic things. It study the valuation cycle in order to assess where are we standing in bull or bear market. It study the earning cycle in order to assess, assess Sir, my Zoom session is coming, right? I will just text you in half an hour. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, you know, you know uh, so it actually says three cycles. So, it assesses valuation. So, our machine algorithm assesses valuation cycle in order to do the assessment of a bear market or bull market. That is in a very simple understanding language. You understand in a very easy language. Like it is a 0, 1, 2, which you use to understand. But our, our valuation cycle used to take consideration the entire 25 plus score after taking the 25 plus score it tells you where are we standing in the cycle whether it's a bull market cycle or let's say whether it's a consolidation or whether it is a bear market second to judge the interest rate cycle our our entire algorithm is being made and it is translated it is close to you so to judge the interest rate cycle whether it is in a consolidation phase rising phase or a falling phase there is a again there is a score which is in the name, name of 012 now the third is the earning cycle. There is a whole word book which is devoted towards the earning cycle. So Ashish, you can on the screen, Ashish, on the screen, you have been showing only the chart. You have been explaining it verbally. That's it, right? Na? Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. So uh, so this is uh, now I am I'm, uh, now I have made the visible of this particular thing. So there is a uh, word book for valuation, there is a book for earning, and there is a book for interest rate cycle, which you will get in a category selection. So basically, I want to make you understand the theory behind the uh, this cycle. Of course, I'm not giving you the notes. Uh, so some of the user have do know that uh, very soon we are launching a certification course for our. So if you are like, if you are using a MS Excel, so there is a uh, certification which is being given by a Microsoft that is like a certified Microsoft uh, expert. So similarly, uh, let's say if there are 700 users who are using this, out of 700 users, we will give the certification to them only who actually goes and does the in-depth study with respect to this. So we'll have an entire 10-hour course for them. And of course, it is not chargeable, but only those will be able to qualify. 
and our is a very trademark and copyright kind of thing so you will have a credential for that also but i what i why i'm trying to tell you this because it is very of course my gpt will give you the direct guidance it will give you the expertise at your fingertips but you need to understand that what is going behind the gpt what it is actually assessing it so all the assessment is being done very uh, on the basis of data science it is all con based nothing no narrative no event based no news based each everything is backed by data so i was just trying to make you understand that at what cycle at what zone actually what factors or let's say what style works so you like able to understand ki agar ye score hai to mota mota ye style chalega ya ye style mein hame apna paisa nahi rakhna hai so any question till abhi abhi tak koi question hai sir any question any question you can unmute yourself now i'm going to the uh, verb any question excuse me sir yeah falling interest rate or agar uh, uh, rising growth jaisa scenario hoga to kaun si style chalega jaisa abhi presently hai great sir so in terms of falling interest rate scenario and if there is a rising growth rate now we have to judge where are we standing in the market cycle so if we look at the market cycle abhi 0 1 to mam 0 ke paas mein hai ki 1 ke paas mein Who has asked this question? Uh, zero के पास है मतलब so, point five. Uh, we are standing at a you know we are we are at the end end fag of the market cycle or we are at the you know mid of the market cycle. Uh, mid. Mid of the market cycle, right? You will able to assess. मैं आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछ के आपसे सस्पेंड करवा दूँगा. Now you are at the mid of the market cycle. You are not at a let's say a beer market cycle, right? So if you are not at a beer market cycle, so of course अभी भी क्वालिटी का समय नहीं आया. Because you will have, you want to have a consolidation phase. along with that you need a falling interest rate scenario and a falling earning cycle also because you don't have a falling earning cycle and even i will tell you this sir, there is no falling interest rate scenario what is the score for a debt score for debt if score for a debt is like 0.6 so falling interest rate scenario starts from a zero okay <laughs> right ha ah. so you are not still at a falling interest rate scenario you are still at the peak of the interest rate right now it is still you are near to the peak only and there is no falling interest rate so of course there is a time for a quality and to be very frank this cycle doesn't change too often so it is nothing like that that if quality was there for a four year now value is there for a four year now it's a time that quality will replace the value so algorithm will itself tell that the when the quality will replace the value so so to give, give the answer for your specific question still it is not a time for a quality but yes the way we were at the fag end of the momentum in june so momentum we exited in june and lower was a part instead of a momentum so i can tell you one thing that we are at the fag end of the value also it could it the value could replace after two month also or let's say it could replace after six month also but yes we are at the fag end of the value so i am not giving you the gray answer i am giving you the specific question answer right now it is not a time for quality but yes value is at the fag end because value has made a lot of money and again when the score will close to one and when the interest rate cycle and let's say again we'll go to the earning growth where right now if you'll see the earning growth was more than a average and eps which we have seen in the last 10 year the last three earning growth was like anything it is actually 24% compounded annually if we look at the again subdued earning growth going forward if we look at the interest rate cycle has consolidated it is in a falling phase and if the score has gone to let's say 0.7 0.8 0.9 then sure short quality is going to outperform all the entire all the entire factor but right now the things are not visible the things are not conducive for a quality as a factor am i clear okay. any you. other question so yes. very nice question sir i want this kind of question So suppose if your score goes to point eight, point nine, if interest rate start, you know, uh, if interest rate start consolidating, neither it is rising, neither it is falling, and there is a turbulence in the market. Means, of course, if you even if you are not facing a price correction, so price correction is generally seen from a one point two five score or let's say from a one score. Generally, from a point eight to one point one, one point two, market goes into a time correction. So, if you are feeling a mar, if, if there is a market turbulence, if there is a time correction, 
if the growth rate in the economy or let's say if the earnings earning which we have seen in the growth of 24 CAG, CAG, if it is coming back to let's say 8%, 10%, 12% and there is a consolidation phase in the market, which factor will outperform all the other factor? Which factor will outperform all the other factor? So I'm asking this question because I have already given you the uh, broader uh, checklist or let's say broader guideline with respect to the working of the factor. Now I'm giving you the condition after studying the score, which you can also study because minimistic score is very easy to study and distilled score are very hard to study. So that is being done by the system. So I'm not talking about the distilled score. Now let's say after studying the score, you are able to judge that this is a period of let's say a time correction. And now let's say interest rate is not going to rise from here. And third, even if market doesn't fall, it will go into the consolidation phase. Which factor will outperform all the other factors? That is what I'm asking. Low volatility. Perfect, sir. Low vol will outperform all the other factor. Great. Now I'm again giving you the case study. If the score is near to zero, let's hypothetically now assume that the score has gone to zero. The score has gone to zero. I'm talking about, a, let's say, minimistic daily score, which I was sharing with you. I'm not talking about the distilled score. So if the score has gone to zero, already a price correction has happened for, let's say, three months, six months. Or let's say, even if there's no price correction, because this time we are not seeing any particular price correction, we are seeing actually time correction this time. So if there's a time correction for, let's say, three months, six months, the score has gone to zero. And we are seeing that interest rates are not falling. Momentum. Which will outperform all the other factors, sir. Momentum and value will outperform all the other factor. And momentum will outperform value itself. But if you see the rising interest rate scenario from here, let's say, rather than from 6.8, if it is not coming to 6.5, it is going back to 7.2. Which factor is going to outperform? I'm again repeating. The score is near to zero. Six month time correction has already happened. The score is near to zero. But now the interest rate cycle, instead of consolidating or instead of falling from 6.8, it is going to back to the 7.2. Which factor will outperform all the other factor? Quality. Which factor? In a rising, inter rising interest rate scenario, you are near to zero. Value. It's already mm -hmm. three months or six month time correction has already happened. That's why you are near to zero now. Momentum. Momentum. Momentum will outperform low all and quality. But will it outperform value? No, well, value will outperform the entire three because there is a rising interest rate scenario also. You're getting my point, sir? So you are able to identify the broader, yes, value and momentum will outperform. But again, within value and momentum, you should be able to understand when value will outperform, when momentum will outperform. So it is not about HDFC or SSI is a good AMC or a bad AMC. It is not about Motilal or a POD is a good AMC or a bad AMC. You have, we have to identify that what is the period for a value, what is the period for quality. And according to that, if fund managers of that respective AMC are tilted towards that particular style, then they are going to outperform the entire fund manager. As simple as that. There is no bad or good fund manager. There is no good or bad AMC. It is all about at what zone, at what cycle, which fund manager has, which style tilted towards it. Or let's say, what is the drifting of a fund manager towards which style at what cycle, at what zone. Am I clear, sir? Will you able to now identify on the basis of involvement rather than what is the narrative going in the industry? Or let's say, what is the area manager is telling you that, sir, look at my this particular fund. What is a what is a punch pitch line for this? All the flexica fund which is doing good. So look at our recent performance over two year, three year, five year. Our HDFC flexica or let's say ICI India opportunity is doing like anything. It is doing a phenomenal job. Job. See, I look at the Franklin India opportunity is doing a phenomenal job. So you are actually not adding the fund at the starting phase of the run. You are adding the fund at the fag end of the run. So we are starting, when we are adding at the fag end of the run, and if you are adding in the fag end of the run, then of course the probability or of outperforming that particular fund with respect to the peer group is very negligible. 
so it again it is not about the bad or a good area manager that is misselling you but it is about that we are entering at the last end of the cycle so we have to assess the cycle the interest rate and the earning means market market cycle earning cycle interest rate cycle and that is being done by the entire algorithm of a marina so if you are not able to do that but please understand the basic underlying rational behind the cycle if you are identifying if you are able to understand that also you will able to avoid the very costly mistake which is being generally held by our hand so even if you are not able to take you know even if you are not able to create a right financial map with the help of assessment of the cycle please do try to avoid a costly financial mistake that is more important avoiding a costly financial mistake is more important than laying a very you know solid road map so that is what we usually advocate so this is the all underlying rational and theoretical part behind that now like let's say if you yes ashish i have a question yeah. how do you find which amc is following which style so sir to be very frank sir no amc actually used to tell their uh, style or their mandate but whenever they underperform they used to tell their style from the underperformance only i came to know that this amc is following this style so when axis uti dsp started underperforming they started telling that they are quality based amc when icci and uh, prashant jain means uh, when prashant jain saab was of hdfc was underperforming he was telling you that he was picking a value buy so whenever amc okay. will underperform they will tell you uh, their real picture but wherever they will outperform they will tell you that they, it is only and only because of their superior security picking skill they will never tell it is because, okay, of, okay. because of this time okay thank you yeah so that is actually a work which is being done by you also and going forward we are also going to do the homework on behalf of you because now we are in touch with different amc with respect to now amc have started accepting that that there is a importance of framework and system in a advisor community also earlier they used to tell that process and checklist is only being used by fund manager now they have realized that the framework and system has a very pivotal role play in a advisor community also so now that's why amc are entertaining us and they are calling us in different market outlook or let's say they are doing a which is joint exercise so now because we are getting closer to the amc we will able to tell you which amc is following which style but again it is a homework which has to be done from your side also because our marina is totally focus on a style based indices so now to go to the style based indices now for the set of advisor let's say who, who want to you know who want to uh, don't want any kind of further knowledge oriented cheese or uh, gyan wali cheese they can just leave after 5 minute because gbt will do the entire thing you just do two thing with the gbt give me style factor across market cap or suggest me allocation for 20 lakh on the basis of that let's see it is giving you or not So what it is telling you? In large cap, invest fourteen lakh rupees. In mid and small cap, only two and two lakh rupees out of twenty lakh. And out of large cap, fourteen lakh, it should go in value and low volatility today. Out of mid cap, two lakh rupees should go in quality. And two lakh rupees should be blended. In the small cap, actually, there is only two style: momentum and uh, quality. So blended means momentum and quality. so these and so it has given you what, how much should go in large mid and small and within large mid and small it has given you what are the style which you should go in and what are the style which you, you should avoid as simple as that if you don't want to understand the theory all this kind of part but you can just go and you can just go and write this particular prompt now the next question is give me style based fund it has given you the broader allocation percentage and a favorable style now it will give you the sorry give me style based fund 
Now it will give you the style-based fund also. That what are the, but it will totally focus on indices only. It will not focus on active fund. It will focus on indices. For active fund, you have to do your own personal judgment. And going forward, we are also going to do that judgment. And on the basis of that joint exercise, we will be able to release the factor style for a different uh, AMC and different funds. So please do read, sir. So first priority fund, which are currently favorable, means out of various, it has given you the style. Now, going forward, let me tell you this one thing. UTI Nifty 500 is very soon going to be replaced by ICCI Nifty 200 value 30. It will actually work better than UTI Nifty 500 because UTI Nifty 500 is working on the entire universe of Nifty 500 and ICI Nifty 200 will work on Nifty 200. So that is a better position point in a large cap rather than a UTI Nifty 500. So if you have already invested a money in UTI Nifty 500, you can stay put, means you can still hold that particular money, but please stop putting fresh money in this particular fund. In a very next week itself, it is going to be replaced by ICI Nifty 200 value fund. So these are that four fund where you can put your money. You can ask this also with this particular GPT. What is backtested performance if I have followed your style selection? You can ask this also. If I, if you are following your style allocation or suggestion, or let me take you, okay. Back to home, you can directly, there is a one question actually, which was there, which was being used asked by different advisors. So here is a pre-populated question. So from a, I know what to ask, I don't know what to ask. There is already a pre-populated question, which was being asked by various advisor, Pan India. So it collect those questions here itself. And you can ask performance of a, let's say style guidance that if you have followed this particular style then what are the performance so in large cap oriented means if you're just following a this particular style in order to have a large cap only in order to keep the large cap only in nifty 500 100 rupees has become 1300 in nifty 500 if you are following just a large cap rented style, Nifty yeah, here 100 rupees is becoming 8500 rupees. Here 100 rupees is becoming 8500. Similarly, if rather than going for a large cap, you are just following a mid cap for a long term money. So 100 rupees is becoming 1300 in Nifty 500, but 100 rupees is becoming 10,000 plus rupees in mid cap oriented style. So if you are able to identify the style and if you are able to rotate the style, you will able to make this kind of huge alpha vis-a-vis -vis benchmark. So 70% of the fund manager are, are unable to beat benchmark and Marina is beating the benchmark. As simple as that. And of course, it will out, it will underperform at the fag end of the style. Whenever there will be a fag end of the style, you will see the underperformance. So that's why you will see the July, August, September performance of the, the style is not so good because momentum was at the fag end. Now values at the fag end, but wherever we are the starting of the cycle of the, any particular uh, style, the performance will be very huge. So if you look at the starting of the style of a value and momentum from 2020, it was giving you the alpha of year on year basis. It was giving you the alpha of 22%. 22% is not the absolute return I'm talking about. It is the alpha over the indices and 70% and of the fund were unable to beat the indices. But it was beating indices with a 22% alpha. So that is a beauty. If you have if you have chosen this particular thing at the starting of the cycle. But yes, to be very frank, because we are at the fag end of the style of uh, momentum which has happened in the July. And now value is the value of the value. So value is the value of the performance. So I don't know when will the system will tell you. But whenever the system will alert, whether it is about after 2 months or 6 months. But when lower and quality will come. That means you are at the new start of the market cycle. And then you will ride the performance like anything. Which is our value or momentum. Now the problem is that the performance is not seen in three months. Vis-a-vis index. Because the momentum is coming to the end. And the value is going to come to the end. Where is it? So these are the three prompts from where you will get the entire thing. Just asking the three prompts. 
So now basically you can't place Marina for an investor. I understand because of the brokerage issue or because of the trail issue. Uh, most of you are not going to place Marina in front of your investor. But please, I will urge you at least invest 20 to 30 rupees of your money into the style-based indices. I am at least urging you for 20 to 30 rupees into the style base or let's say, even if it's a plain value index, the ID also will work. But please bring your own money and out of your 100 rupees, please bring at least 20 rupees into the style base indices. Now going back to the marina here, you will get the entire thing within a very detailed proportion. So even if you want to do a return analysis for let's say large cap model return analysis, you can do that. So let's say if you want to do the return analysis for a one year rolling basis. So let's say if you want to do a return as for a earlier rolling basis of the worst phase in the market. So what was the worst phase in the market? So let's say for a 2008. So in 2008, the one year rolling return of a Nifty 500, that is in the orange line. The one year rolling return of a Nifty 500 is minus 57%. When you will put a cursor, it will show you. It was minus 57%. At the same time, the worst scenario performance of this was a minus 31%. So even if you're sitting in the market, you're not getting out of the market, but because of the style rotation, the 60, you have almost protected half of the uh, falling market. Means the market has fallen by almost 60%. You are only falling by 30%. And that too, you are 100% in the market. It is not like that. So let me just give you the differentiating factor between Marina and Amulyankan. Mulyankan protects your downside by taking you out of equity market and getting you in the debt market. Marina protects your downside by getting you out of the aggressive style and taking you in the conservative style. So that is the basic differentiating factor between, between the Mulyankan and the Marina. Mulyankan will protect your downside by taking your money into the debt. Marina will protect your downside by avoiding the unfavorable factor or let's say by avoiding the unfavorable style. So that is a huge difference. So that's why even if you are in the market, you are just fallen by 30% and the market has almost fallen by the 60%. Now let's look at the market recovery. So market at the top has given 98% and the marina has given 140%. That means it has fallen less and it has risen more means relatively it has outperformed in a rising market also relatively it has outperformed in a falling market also so that is overall beauty so similarly if i look at the consolidation market of let's say 2018 and 19 So one year rolling return for a benchmark is minus 7% and it is, it is positive 2% for the marina. If I talk about 2019, so why I'm showcasing this? So indices is outperforming the marina. So indices has given 2019 has given a one year rolling return of 9%. The marina has given 5.5%. Now look at the 2020 market. So market had risen in 2020 by 16%. Marina has risen by 42%. Let's look at the 2021 market. So again, Nifty 500 has outperformed the Marina in the 2021 market. Now look at now look at the 2022 recovery market. In recovery market, again, Marina has outperformed the indices. So from here, you can have a year on year look. Let's look at the 2023 market when it was a structural bull rally. So Nifty 500 has given 32%. Marina has given 64%. And, and this, mind you, sir, this is only with the large cap. So in 2023, Nifty 500 has given 32%. 70% of the fund has not outperformed Nifty 500. And only large cap. Mid cap has given actually 55% in 2023, but large cap style is outperforming the mid cap fund also. It is giving you 62%. So without sitting in mid cap, you are getting a return better than a mid cap. So that is the beauty of a size selection.
So here, from here, you can have a detailed analysis of a return if you have followed the marina. And from here, you'll have a broader guidance with respect to what you have to do the action with respect to the allocation and with respect to the style selection. Now we'll open this forum for the Q and A. For, for a participant who want to go for a detailed learning with respect to the scores, how this GPT is working for the score. So again, I will repeat, I will have a 10, a 10 hour course for them. We will very soon going to lay, launch a 10 hour course for them. Of course, it will be followed by the exam also. There we will tell you each and everything in very detail. But to have a broader understanding, this is more than sufficient to have to build a conviction that yes, going forward in it is a it is a time for indices means of course i am not discarding active fund but please start looking at a index fund that is what i'm advocating to the overall fraternity right now so thank you so much sir any question is there we can open this forum for a q and a for next five minutes or ten minutes and then excuse me sir yes sir. uh yeah a course online pre-recorded offline mein. Okay. So, sir, this will be a live course. Of course, you recorded over. It will only have access to those only who will be who will able to, you know, who will enroll this particular course and will able to pass this particular course. Okay. Right. So, the, uh, it will be recorded, but it will not have a, you know, public access. Okay. So, can you once uh, explain a little bit about the large cap particulars like low MOM quality and value. Okay, great, sir. Take it. Just a short, in short. Yes, yeah, sir. So, sir, uh, so in Marina, when you have selected Marina, now, again, it is at a, uh, you know, discretion of an advisor, whether he want to do a capital allocation in all three, or whether he want to go for only large cap oriented. Now, this judgment is a very subjective, and I have left this with the advisor community, because advisor is a, advisor, as an advisor is a fraternity which is meeting with the end investor. And he knows whether that investor is suitable for a large cap or whether it's the, this investor is suitable for an entire large cap or small cap. So you have to do that assessment or uh, let's say judgment. And on the basis of judgment of the risk profile of the investor, you have to decide whether it is only for a, whether he is only eligible for a large cap or he's eligible for an entire large cap, mid cap, small cap. So suppose if he's only eligible for a large cap, then you just select large cap here. Then it and out, out of all four style let's say momentum value low wall and volatility it is just showing you two styles right now value and low wall now what are the, those four style in large cap those four style are this value momentum low wall and quality in a bull market cycle all will work but value and momentum will outperform low wall and quality in a bear market cycle all will fall but low wall and quality will relatively outperform value and momentum again in a cycle Value will outperform momentum in a recovery phase of the market. Momentum will outperform value in a second leg phase of the market. Second leg run of the bull market, momentum will outperform. Now in the first turbulence phase of the market, whenever there is in turbulence in the market, low wall will outperform quality. Means low wall and quality both will outperform momentum and value, but low wall will outperform all the three. When there is a consolidation phase or when there is a falling phase in the market, in the beer market, quality will outperform all the other three. Now, apart from this, we have to look at, at the two, two other factor also, that is an interest rate cycle and an earning cycle. In a rising interest rate cycle, value will outperform all the other three. In a falling interest rate cycle, quality will outperform all the three. In the rising earning cycle, value will outperform all the three. In the falling earning cycle, quality will outperform all the three. So even if you'll forget after two days, sir, I will share this video recording with you. I hope I have sufficiently given the answer for this. So yes. when so when we are taking a large cap here, so we were only taking a large cap of a Nifty hundred and Nifty two hundred. We were least bother about what is happening in Nifty mid cap one fifty and what is happening in Nifty small cap two fifty. So you are outperforming the broader market by just choosing a large cap indices only. That too, large cap style based indices. You're not only outperforming the market, you're, you're actually outperforming the mid cap indices also and small cap indices also. So in terms of risk, you are taking the risk of a large cap, but in terms of outperformance, you're even outperforming the mid cap and a small cap by just rotating the style. Now, the most important question, no one has asked this question, Abhita, but 
Out of 19 years, what we have seen, only nine times the style has been changed. I'm again repeating, in out of study of a 19 year, in India, the style was being rotated only nine times in out of 19 years. So average life of a style is like, it can be two months also, it can be four months also, but the average life is like a two, two and a half year. Am I clear, sir? So the readjustment which you have to do in the portfolio is like a nine times in an entire journey of a 19 year. So do we move to low wall quality now? Low, sir, uh, so sir, again, to be very frank, so it is a, when we are doing a very close session, so I'm telling you my gut feeling, but again, data science don't have, uh, uh, you know, any space or any room for a gut. So still it is showing you the value and low wall. So we have to stick to the value and low wall. But after three months or let's say after four months, if, because we do have a feeling like value at the fag end. So after three months or five months, it tells you that the period is over for the value. So please do take the fresh money in a quality rather than a low wall, uh, rather than a value. So even if you are not switching from value to quality, but start putting fresh money in the quality whenever a system generator alert. Yes, but in terms of mid cap, yes, yes. So very important thing which you are missing. But if you'll go, if I just select mid cap, in mid cap, now it is entire into quality. The entire money should into the quality. Now, what are the mm -hmm. quality funds? DSP mid cap is the quality, one of the quality fund. Invesco mid cap is one of the quality fund. PGM mid cap is one of the quality funds. So if you don't want to go for a mid cap and 50 quality, you go and you go money to the Vinay Bahadia, you go and you give money to the Vinit Samre, or let's say you go and you go, uh, go and give money to the Teher Batsha. I can't specifically write Teher Batsha is quality, Vinit Samre is quality, because if you have a complaint, then my company will be closed. So within one to one discussion, of course, we can talk like this. We can also look at index funds which are focusing on quality. Yes. Apart from that, it is already telling you the index fund which is focusing on quality. So from where you will get that? So from for that, you have to click on style based fund. So green are the most favorable fund. So within that, you can go and you can choose DSP Nifty mid cap 150 quality. So here, from here, you'll have a broader allocation and an identification of the style. From here, you'll have a return analysis that if you are following very religiously what Marina is telling you, then what is the kind of return it is generating for you? For that analysis, you can go here. And for finally selecting the fund, you can go here and select the style based fund from here. Any other questions, sir? Any other question? Shall we call it a day? Excuse me. Yes, sir. Please. Uh, आप एक हर books कौन से refer करते मतलब source वगैरह ये सब factoring वगैरह नहीं क्यों? Because ये कभी industry में कभी सुनने को आता ही नहीं है कि ऐसा कुछ so, होता भी है. Sir, I have started from there only. So this is India's first navigation algorithm which is being made for a factor analysis. ये इंडिया का पहला ही है. तो आए ही नहीं. India का पहला है. So to be very frank. Because we are in an intro session, Pali MC College is factor in the factor. NJ is the first, first MC, right? So NJ is the first MC. He is using the Marina. Means he's using, when I'm saying he's using the Marina, I'm not saying that he's exactly using the Marina, but he's keen to use the Marina. That is what I'm trying to say. Ashish ji, is it better to switch from mid and small cap active funds? Or should I hold? One minute, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, is it better to switch from uh, mid and small cap or should I hold? So, sir, the answer was here only. Uh, uh, so, if I ask the Zoom, in a Zoom, it was telling you. So, I will directly go to I don't know what to ask. And if I tell you style allocation weight here, 
you can just go so whatever questions you are asking us sir 90% of the questions are being covered here so you have to just go and you have to just look into it so you are asking about the weight right so it will give you the weight here style yeah. allocation weight so 73% in large cap 13 in mid cap and 13 in small cap okay right this is for fresh money this is for a fresh money okay uh, what about existing holdings existing money sir of course because you are uh, I don't know whether you are following the indices or not, but if you align the existing money also with this, then nothing like it. Okay. It is like a feather on the hat then. Or let's okay. say icing on the cake. Okay. Uh, Ashish, uh, this is Ashwant here. Yeah. Um, we need to uh, know about this marina in a very detailed way. How do we uh, uh, do it, uh, Ashish? Is there a separate... Yes, session. So we will do a separate session for that, sir. That will be a 10 hour, 10 hour elongated session with respect to the Mulyankar and a marina. The entire uh, this uh, practical data science oriented thing. Okay. When will that happen, Ajish? Uh, so, sir, very soon we are going to do that because there is a lot of development work which is being pending. After that, so it will be like you can say uh, by December we will be able to release this thing. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for asking uh, such a, uh, you know, such a questions which, which I have expected that if you are really keen to understand things, I will definitely make you navigate with all this kind of stuff. And this one, ex-fund manager, which, 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 who is Pratik Sina, and he is a person who actually, by, uh, who is able to identify this, which, quality, which portfolio is low or which portfolio is quality. So he used to share his view with respect to the, you know, fund houses. So whenever you share the next uh, thing, I will definitely share that particular thing with you. So I don't know whether you have gone this with this three or not, but last time he shared this with the community. Let me show you this thing. So this was a style fund list. Means what are the FlexiCap fund and what are the style they are following? So for an example, HDFC FlexiCap is value. So that's why it is not about the HDFC FlexiCap is a very good fund. It is because value is performing like anything for the last four years. And it's not like that UTI FlexiCap is a very bad fund. But the low and quality was not performing for the last four years. So this is, this is not being made by us. To be very frank, we don't have that level to identify on the basis of portfolio. Portfolio, what are the style? So our, one of the ex-fund manager who used to be our user, he used to do it. So whenever he will release the same note next time, I will share with the entire fraternity in the community. Okay. Any other questions, sir? Shall we call it a day? So thank you so much, sir. I'm, I'm stopping the uh, uh, session here. Any question will be there. Please do ping me with respect to the technical utility for any other broader platform navigation or any other basic concern. You can directly contact our support staff. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for trusting us. We will again meet you. Uh, uh, so Chennai, I will, I will be visiting uh, very soon and Hyderabad, I will be visiting a day after tomorrow. So I will meet you there, sir. Thank you so much.